Again, with the Nipex scissors, um, I use these in all my bags. As I've said before, robust scissors. Uh, cut anything basically, up to 2.5mm uh, cable, electrical cable. Take them off. Carabiner clips, basically for home keys, stuff like that. Um, this is the Bosch digital tape measure. Uh, I'll do a little video on this and this in action, but these are great. Basically, switch it on, press once to activate the laser, press again, gives it the distance. Yeah, I've just done the distance from there to the ceiling, it's 1.315 meters. So, quick as that. Yeah, really good. Okay, guys, here's the the Bosch digital uh, tape measure, if you like. It's basically a GLM-40. I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of how it works. Uh, switch it on, simple as that. Press the red arrow, which activates the laser. I don't know if you can see that yellow fluke box up on that rack up there. I'm basically firing the laser at that. And I'm going to rest it against this 4 by 2 and I'm going to press the button again. I don't know if you can see that, but it gives us a measurement there of 3.269 meters. As quick as that, do it again. Press the button, activates the laser again. Again, look at the fluke box. Press it again. 3.290. You can see the measurement up above that, which is the, the first measurement. So. This tool is good for taking multi measurements, you know, if you're measuring a room for laminate flooring or painting or wallpapering, anything, tiling, um, it stores all the previous measurements. Good bit of kit. Thanks. Okay, it's side of the bag. Uh, fluke voltage tester. I carry this in my electrical bag, obviously, and this bag. Um, Good, basically, just for indicating if there's any voltage there. Uh, it's not foolproof, but it's 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 good. Stanley Fat Max Auto Lock Tape. I've got an eight meter version on this bag. Um, it's metric only. My preferred tape. Pica pencil. Again, I'll do a separate review on that. Standard carpenter's pencil. Side of the bag, uh, we've got the Hansen Stud Finder. Uh, this is great. Uh, again, I'll do another review on this. Cheap bit of kit, but it's really good. Small carabiner just for keys or whatever. This pocket, we've got a set of tile drills. Uh, Marksman uh, deep hole marker. Is the type that you put in the hole, push, fires a shot of gas uh, and chalk that marks deep holes. I'll do a review on that as well. <clears throat> Side of the bag, uh, again, little Larry magnetic torch. It's got a magnetic base, you can stick it anywhere and then switch it on. They're good. Stanley Fat Max. Utility knife, spare blades in there. And a tape loop, just electrical tape, PTFE, amalgamating tape. A small parts bag. Basically, I've got this full of uh, Wego connectors, electrical connectors. Um, there's a lot of different types here, but. Um, Every type you can imagine, to be honest. Some of those, I've got a backhoe pipe slice. Some earth sleeving. This is a speed fit isolation valve. Um, slips in the pipe, you can switch the water off quickly if need be in emergencies. Uh, that's that. Okay, now in the main body of the bag, on the other side. Sit down like that. So basically a quick run through the tools I have in here. Uh, I've got a small DeWalt level, magnetic, that's good. 
uh, automatic wire strippers. Um, I guess everybody's got their preference. But I, I've been using these for a good, good couple of years now. I like them. They're good. Full set of Weera uh, screwdrivers. These are the laser tipped uh, versions, yeah, which are really good. Nipex line pliers. Nipex side cutters. He's a Nipex plier wrench. Um, as I say, if you look at my plumbing video, uh, I've, I've, I've seen a bit more about these, but these are these are really good and rapidly replacing all my adjustable spanners. Here's the bigger set, the smaller set. Sorry, these are the one eighties. Another set of Nipex Cobras. Um, can't say enough about these. These are great water pump pliers. Good for all manner of jobs and plumbing. Um, snap off utility knife. It's handy for a lot of things. Uh, just a small hammer, cut down to size, you know, just to fit, fit in this bag. Good. I've got three small picks. Um, basically, this is a bradle just for you know, banging through plastic board. If I go through a ceiling to put a light in or something, um, that's what I use them for. Picks. Uh, sometimes bath panels, for instance. Slide it in the side of the panel, turn it around, and pull the panel out. Same with kitchen plinths at the bottom of the units. Uh, these are handy for that, you know, putting, then turning and pulling the plinth out to disengage it from the clips. Uh, same here, 45 degree one. We've got a Weera ratcheting multi bit screwdriver. So basically push the button. All your bits in there and you've got your, your ratchet left and right. This is the Weera flexi bit screwdriver. Any awkward angles you know you can go in Hold this that spins and turn in any screws that you need to. Um, this has come in really handy and a few you know silly little things that you wouldn't think of, but it's just it's a really good tool to have for the sake of 15 quid. Well worth having. Got the Fuji uh, or Fuji uh, silicon kit. It's basically for smoothing out your silicon and making um, you know a neat job of it. This is just in here, just in case I need it in a quick, I've, I've actually got a dedicated silicon sealant uh, box. It's a dual box with all the different, you know, attachments in it. And I do a lot of that, a lot of resealing baths, showers, that type of thing. Um, I, I carry a lot of gear to do it. Again, I'll probably do another review about that as well. I've got the set of Weera Allen keys. The small set. The reason I've got these, the smaller set, um, is because this the Tech XL is a large bag. Honestly, when you start filling it up, it, it does get tends to get really heavy. So I've, I've tried to cut down on a lot of things I've got in here and the size of things to cut down the weight a little bit. Uh, so that's the reason I've got them. But these are these are great. A couple of insulated screwdrivers, flatheads, uh, tiny one there, small size zero, spare batteries. Triple A's, double A's. Um, another silicon razor blade tool, you know, for scraping silicon off around showers or paint off windows. Just anything. It's, these are really handy to have. A smaller version here. It's the same same tool, but just a smaller version if I get into those difficult places. Uh, carpenter's rule. Square rule. It's handy when you're uh, doing laminate flooring, for instance. I prefer using this to a tape, uh, just bang it against skirting boards and, and measuring. You get a quick, more accurate measurement. Small backhoe adjustable. Can't do without these. I'm, I'm, as I said in the last video, I love these. Uh, but I'm sure they'll be replaced with the Nipex once I get used to using them. But good all the same. Just a bit of copper pipe, 
you never know. Just like some other screwdrivers, posy bits, uh, Phillips, you know the score. Um, this is a good little screwdriver, uh, this is a stubby, uh, but it's got a multi bit, it's made by Weeha. Pull the handle off, here's all the bits here. Select the bit you want. Just a nice positive feel to that. Put the handle back on. There you go, away you go. It's well worth buying one of these if you can uh, if you can justify the ten or twelve pounds that it cost, but it's good. Uh, another deep hole marker, well, this is a just a normal marker from Marksman, the grip it marksman. As I say, stick it in the hole, press it. And you get a puff of chalk. I'll actually show you it in the bag here. So that's it. Push. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but see the little mark there. This actually works from a distance of about 50 or 60 millimeters, I think. So anything that deep, four by two, anything like that, it works perfect. Um, pockets up here. So really. Okay, so the other side of the bag, that's just one side we looked at, this is the, the next side. Um, yeah, so the impact that I carry in this bag is the 12 volt Milwaukee. It's all DeWalt tools that I use, this is the only Milwaukee tool that I own. Um, and I don't particularly like it to be honest, um, but it's, it's nice and compact fits in there nice, you know, so it's the reason I've got it. I might grow to like Milwaukee in the future, but it's all it's always been DeWalt that I've used. Um, I use the Weera wrap adapter in there. These are good. Just pull that out, remove the bit, push it in, push that back, and that's going nowhere. Yeah, these are really good. What's that? A spare 12 volt battery for the Milwaukee. Uh, Small selection of drill bits that I carry with me. Uh, again, I've obviously got the full set of drills in the van, you know, a big thing we don't want to hump that about with me, so take the small ones with us. Um, these are just standard shank drills. Uh, wood, masonry, and metal drills. And I've also got a set of impact drills. So basically, instead of having to take the drill with me, I can fit these in my impact driver. Uh, and use them. Just small drills, you know, for putting plugs in plasterboard and stuff. But no, they're good. Yeah, these are made by Bosch and they're multi material drills, so pretty much drill through anything. Yeah, wood, plasterboard, ceramic, masonry, you know. So these are really good to have. I carry a little box full of 6mm plugs and 8mm plugs. Um, Plugs that I favour, which are the Fisher, Fisher Dual Power. Um, you can use these for anything, uh, but they're particularly good at putting in plasterboard, um, screwing and opening them up. Good for you know light to medium, medium stuff. Um, yeah, I've obviously got a full box of different fixings, uh, but that stays in the van. I'm not going to take that out with me. So these, it's handy to have these two little things that deal with most most things. Another grip at Marksman, they're everywhere. <laughs> uh, Milwaukee extension bit. Another one there. And what else have we got? Uh, trusty DeWalt hammer. This is a 16 ounce. Um, this is a great hammer, I love this. It's just nice and light but so well weighted. Uh, it's well worth getting one of these if you can, if you can, if you can justify it. Uh, but no, it's great. Best hammer I own. Um, I have a set of tile bits, basically for ceramic tile, glass. Um, basically used for uh, usually bathroom fixings I do, uh, whether it be toilet roll holders or shower screens, things like that. We need to drill through tile to get a good fixing. That's what I use. Small hacksaw, 
any plumbing sort of quick jobs that we need to do, just use the hacksaw as opposed to using the other specialist kit. Small Stanley pry bar, you know, getting skirting boards off, uh, door trims, things like that. This is handy, pulling nails, just handy little thing. Again, silicon nozzles. I carry these in every bag, whether it's silicon, cork. Um, you know, when you use the tube, you don't, you know, if you don't have a cap for the end, you don't put a nail in it or a screw, it, it hardens up, you know, then it's pretty much useless. What I do is just take the old nozzle off, put the new nozzle on. And normally it's only solidified down to about there, so all this is good and the tube's good, so put a new one of these on solves the problem. It's a trend digital angle finder. Good for tiling or laminate flooring or anywhere we need to find angle actually. Bosch stud finder. The jury's still out on this. Um, I tend to only grab this when I'm unsure about an area when I'm, when I'm going to drill. Because yeah, I normally use my hands and stud finder to find studs. But if I'm drawing a wall where I think there may be pipes or electrical cables, I will use this. Um, to be honest, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, if anybody's got a reliable one of these that they can recommend, uh, tell me in the comments. Um, I'd be interested. <clears throat> steel rule. It's a little six inch steel rule. Chisel. You never know when you need a chisel to beat the crap out of things when you need to. Uh, another extension bit for my impact. What we've got up here we have emery cloth. Spare blades for the knives. These are screw extractors, so if you get screws that are rounded off in a door, door hinge for instance, put these in and extract the screw. And I've got the Weira, this is the Weira Toolcheck Plus. It's basically a, a mini socket set, a mini nut driver. Um, again, this warrants a review on its own, but you can see what it is. Use the screwdriver for that and we've got a mini ratchet here, which is tiny. Fit any of these on, any nut drivers, uh, it's really handy. Again, it warrants a review in its own, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. And we've got uh, zip ties or tie wraps. Glasses, I'm getting older and I'm starting to struggle to see now, so, uh, especially close up, so I need reading glasses. Uh, that's everything I knew it. Okay, so basically that's what I carry in my bag. Um, well, this bag. Um, hope you found it helpful. I, I don't overload these bags. It does get quite heavy, this one, because it's a, a fair size. But I would definitely recommend this. Um, it's not my favourite. My favourite has to be the Tech LC. Which I will uh, do a review of shortly. But this, this is big enough to, to hold the wide variety of tools I need in it. Um, that's it really. Any comments, please put them in uh, down below. Subscribe, like the video. Um, I've only been on a couple of days, so hopefully I can get some likes and subscribes going forward. I'll encourage me to make more videos. Okay, thanks again for watching. Cheers.